Hello, welcome back again to another discussion in project time motion. And of course, we want to determine range. The range is defined as the horizontal distance from the point of projection to the point where the projectile hits the projection here again. This is the projectile. Now, this is the point of projection. This is the north angle. This is the initial ball city. At this point, the acceleration is zero. Now, this body now wants to leave this space now for this very position here. The way that it will cover a distance. And this body now of this projectile will move along this curved path. Okay? Now, as this body gets to this projection plane again, the distance is covered simply means the range. Okay? We cannot say now that the initial velocity along the x direction is going to be constant because this is the point of rest. This is where the journey will start from. Meaning at this point, the body has not been projected. Meaning the acceleration is zero. Okay? I cannot say now. The initial velocity along the x direction is u cos theta, u cos theta, while the acceleration along the x direction is zero. Okay, now can I say now, as the body hits the ground, we want to look at the position that from here to here, if it as the body hits this ground again, as the body, as the body, as the body of objects, as the object hits the ground again, let us see what will happen, as the object hits the ground again. Is the ground again? Is the ground again? Let us see what will happen. Is the ground again? Is the ground again? The horizontal, the horizontal, the horizontal, the horizontal distance, the horizontal distance is, and of course, that's what we are looking for. Look at this. The range is defined as the horizontal distance from the point of projection to the point where the projectile hits the projection plane again. And of course, that's what we are looking for. As the object is the ground again, the horizontal distance is x equal u s times times t times t. And don't forget, don't forget that the t is the time of flight. Remember how this body leaves this point, leaving this point to uh, for this very position here, it means that it will have a total time, definitely to cover the distance, and there will be time for that very journey. There will be time for that journey. That total time for the journey is simply in the time of flight. Okay, I cannot say now that x is equal, s is equal, look at us, this is the initial velocity along the x direction, is u cos theta, u cos theta, u cos theta, time, the time of flight, the time of flight is 2u sine theta, okay, all over g, can be equal to 1, this down over 1, so that it can be a fraction, now multiply, now if you multiply, you multiply here, you have uh, uh, 2, okay, we have uh, 2, okay, we have 2u square sine theta cos theta, Cos theta all over g. I can as well rewrite or position this very equation. You come u square, full bracket 2 sine theta cos theta all over g. You can have something like this. Of course, from trig identity, now this one is mathematics, from trig identity, and of course, when we we'll get to trigonometry in Mathematics, I will definitely teach you all this how to prove the sine ratio and then the trig ratio. I will tell you all this. I will tell you how to prove them. Okay, from trig identity, from trig identity, sine 2 theta is equal sine theta cos theta. Okay, now you simply mean from here sine 2 theta. Sine two theta is the same thing as sine sine theta cos theta. Now this sine theta cos theta is the same thing as sine. Okay, this very one is the same thing as sine theta. Basically, was sine theta cos theta plus cos theta sine theta. And when you have this, they are the same. Whether sine is coming first or cos is coming first, it's not like x y plus y x. It's the same thing. Okay, when you have them, you have 2x1. Okay, we need the same thing. Whether the, the sign is coming first or the cost is coming first, that's what you really need. Having them become 
sine theta cos theta. I mean that for this one now, look at this, this sine two theta has given me this, this very one. Okay? I can say that this very one represents this. I cannot say that from what I have from what I have from the board, I can say that x is equal where I have the brackets, I put sine two theta all over all over g, all over g. Okay? Remember I told you that this x comes from a distance from this point to this very point, and that's the range. I will say the range is defined as the horizontal distance from the point of projection to the point where the projector sees the projection plane again. Therefore, I can conclude here now, I can conclude here that uh, the range is basically x, which is this very y, equal u squared sine 2 theta all over g. I can see this is the range. This is the range for the projectile. This is the range for the projectile. Okay, the next one I want to determine is going to be the maximum range. That will be the next class. The tram can stay with me on this platform as we get the maximum range. Okay, please don't forget to like my Facebook page, GB Jungle online mathematics and also subscribe to my youtube channel mathematics science mega tutorial all the best